Okay, so, hello. Um, tonight we're gonna get a little bit weird. I can't believe I'm about to do this. We're gonna watch a three hour long video. I know I did that already with the uh, Live Aid video. So, Larry King, he was an icon in the news industry. He was around my entire life. Um, it's very sad. I think he, he passed last year, didn't he? Isn't it just recently that he passed as well? Um, I did not watch him when I was a kid because, you know, kids think the news is boring. And so every time we were flipped by the news, it was Larry King. He had that monotone kind of voice, and as a kid with no attention span, it wasn't happening. Now, uh, later as an adult, I started finding um, clips and videos of him on mostly Craig Ferguson. And it changed my mind about, about the man himself, because I saw him outside of the, the news, outside of the kind of boring stuff you know not that the news is boring obviously but it is what it is <laughs> um so y'all watched the video earlier i'm sorry it was so bouncy this was the first time that i had ever done a video where i was just walking the streets and so <laughs> this is what you were writing in see um it's a necklace and I am going to, while we're watching the Larry King compilation, I'm going to try to make a better one. Because <laughs> I made this a couple of years ago uh, as a wearable wallet. And it's just about the exact size of my current phone. Um, the problem is that it's like vertical. And so I think if I have it, if I'm, I'm, I'm going to make it to where the opening is on this end. And so I can just slide the phone in and out and maybe like have a little hole so I can make the camera a secret so people aren't like staring at it. I don't know if people could tell I was recording or not. There was a dude on the subway that was kind of looking at me. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Let's see. We got to close some stuff down so we're not la lagging. La 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 lagging. Sorry. Okay, where are we at volume wise? Where are we at brightness wise? Where are we at sanity wise? Hmm. We always need to help that a little bit. with excitement. You know why? Because I've been reading a book and it's just filled me with joy. <laughs> Which I'm open, I hope just... <laughs> My next guest, or first guest, my first guest. Oh, yes. Oh, there's been guests before, but that was on different nights. <laughs> my first guest tonight is the Emmy Award winning host of Larry King Live on CNN. I, I don't know if you've guessed who it is yet. He's written uh, he's written this memoir, Larry King, My Remarkable Journey. That's a clue. <laughs> this book is... Pause for a second. Since this is a three-hour video, I'm going to have a monster and uh, try to keep myself focused. I'm not good at long videos. In stores and now he's doing a book signing on June the 13th in Los Angeles at the Barnes and Noble in the Grove. <laughs> <laughs> Larry King, everybody, Larry King. I 
thank you. Well, but I mean, you showed that book. Yeah. And it says, Larry King, My Remarkable Journey. Yeah. And the odd part is, it's actually the life of Dwight Eisenhower. Really? Yeah, well, what, the, what we did was we try to fake them. Yeah, well, because people might have forgotten Eisenhower, but I didn't. The people, no, I, I, I don't think they were. Are there photographs in here of uh, Eisenhower? Are there any photographs? No, there were no photographs. Yes, there are. Look, there's you and all your Meshuganers that Nate and Al. So come on. <laughs> That's fine. Well, let me tell you something. Well, first, you know, I've long been an admirer of yours. I, and me, you, I, I, you I, I, I do had, an homage to you on this we show. We had dinner with the wife. The wife was there. And you were there. It was a great dinner. Yes. And I got to like you immediately. I think you're a terrific addition to the world of television. Letterman is smart to have you. Yeah, yeah. What, what are you up to? I'll take care of the promo quick. Yeah. I, I'm 75 years old. I can't believe I'm. You look fantastic. I'm you must can't your eyes or Anyway, yeah, yeah. keep it up. Anyway, <laughs> what are they going to do to me? Anyway, I, uh, I've never in my life had all these things come to a point right now. I'm afraid. This is a bestseller on the New York Times. Congratulations. I'm so, that's I'm so proud of it. Yeah, no, that's really funny. I'm really yeah. My show has never gone better. And next Friday night, this is exclusive to you. Yeah. Next Friday night. Yeah. At the Encore Hotel, Steve Wynn's Encore Hotel. In Las Vegas? In Las Vegas. I am doing a stand-up night. You do stand-up comedy? Oh, I, well, I've, I've done it for years when I do conventions. I speak at conventions, groups, yeah. seminars. But I've never done it in a nightclub. Yeah. I've done it in theater. Yeah. I've done it, I did it in a plane once. <laughs> First class or rear? <laughs> anyway. I'll, get I'll give you a clue. I'm European. <laughs> Bathroom. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, my wife's going to open, Sean. She's a terrific singer. She is a terrific singer. Yeah, she's going to be, yeah. she's going to do the first like, half hour, and I'll come off for an hour, and we'll stick with the audience. And if anybody would like to come, they tell me it's EncoreLasVegas.com. And it's Friday night, June 19th. Right. And this book is out now, and everything else is a role in my life. Now what? Well, I don't, I don't know. I, I was going to ask you if you had anything going on. Apparently, you took care of that. What's the... Uh, hey, you know who's always singing your praises when he's here? Rickles. Rickles loves you. I love Rickles. Well, I go back... We go back. I met him in 1959. Good Lord. He was working at a place called Maury Franklin's. I was doing a morning show at a at a restaurant called Pumpernick's. And Rickles would come in. He, both of us were really kind of unknown. Right. And he would come in dressed as a busboy. He still and, dresses like that uh, quite a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and he, he'd walk through the crowd eating breakfast. And he'd say, you, you ordering butter? Are you nuts? What yeah. are you ordering? It's great. One night I had him on with Lenny Bruce one day. Lenny and Bruce and Don Rickles? Well, this was an hour. That, that's, Lenny uh, was yeah. one of my favorites. There was no one like Lenny. I right. would have loved Lenny Bruce. I would have. Because he was ahead of his time. Yeah. He broke rules that now everybody does. I mean, Lenny predicted this. They'd be nude on the Broadway stage. They'd be cursing on television, like you would do. I don't curse on television. I don't curse. And when I do, they beat me. Oh, <laughs> but Lenny was... It's Larry, I tell you. Together. Yeah. And Bruce is wearing a prison uniform. Lenny Bruce in a yeah. prison uniform? Yeah, from Rayford. He said a friend of his sent it from the Rayford State Prison. Wow. And I said, why are you wearing this prison uniform? And he said, I like to go around wearing my prison uniform and ask cops directions. Uh, so, for example, I go to the corner and I say to the cop, now how do I get to Collins Avenue 53rd? Now the cop looks at me and he says, it's an escape con. I got a great arrest. <laughs> Why would an escape con ask a cop for direction? Makes no sense. Wait a minute. How about a brilliant escape con who would ask a cop because the cop would think on a case escape con would not ask a cop. Right, 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 right. And Rickles looked at him and said, let me get a job. <laughs> <laughs> I love Rickles. No, he's he is. He's terrific. He's been too. here a lot? Oh, yeah. Rickles has been here a lot. And when he's, and he's here, I keep saying to him, can we have... Uh, can we have Larry on the show? And Don always says to me, he said, you make fun of him too much. And and, and, I, and you should. And I said, I, I only make no, we only make fun of you for two reasons. Uh, well, One, I only make fun of people I love. Only. <laughs> Mike Kane, Sean Connery. Right. And then, <laughs> and then, and the other thing is, I heard a rumor that you, I, it was, it's one of those things you hear. It's, it's probably what not did you hear? I heard you were a little bit farty. And that, <laughs> I, I thought I'm pretty funny. That's I thought it was funny. That's, that's all. That's one of the worst 
lies I've ever heard. Wait, 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 wait let's go. I'm right? not that way. I don't do that. Well, you have, you haven't, you haven't. Wait a minute. Well, not oh. that I've noticed. You haven't since you've been here. I did it once in Atlantic City. <laughs> hey, I did it once on a plane. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it anywhere yeah, else yeah, but yeah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. You don't allow it. <clears throat> no, no, you can't do it first class. So where are we going with this term? Well, I, I, what I where said. Where are we going? Well, what, what, what I did. Well, we do this thing, and, and Rickle says, "No, you can't. You can't do, do this." It. Well, well, we got the the Larry King thing. Well, well, I'll show you what we do. Okay, let's see. Yeah, yeah, by saying I'm extremely complimented because imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. I, I, yeah. But that's a lot of crap. Yeah, that, no, that no, is, that's an insult. It is. No, it's not an but insult. It's a friendly insult. It's not, no, I it's know not, where you're coming no, from. It's, no, it's definitely crap. But, yeah. but, but it's not an insult. It's okay. not an insult because you're, what as you see, you're an American icon. You're, 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 you're... <sighs> I'm sorry. Craig Ferguson acknowledging that his his show is crap always kills me. <laughs> show is like everybody goes on. All the presidents go on. Everybody goes on your show. Everyone is serious where it's funny. Every, everybody ends up. So you're an icon. So I'm, a, I'm an iconoclast. I have to go after you. That's my job. But I'm, I'm so not Tarzan. <laughs> well, I'm hardly Tarzan either. Do you, I mean, no, but I mean, yeah. do you have any tattoos, though? Are you out of your mind? I'm Jewish. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So. Can, you, can you picture me swinging through the trees? I mean, I, I'm trying to figure out the parody. Well, what are you parody? Well, it was King, King of the Jungle. You know that. Was oh, it. I see. Yeah. I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're right. now as I think about it, I, I should do it. I, no, I'm do it. It. No, no, I'm doing it. No, I'm doing it again. No, it's terrible. No, I do it. I Burn like. that. I don't want to ever see that here again. <laughs> I'm going to get it. We'll put it on tomorrow night. <laughs> Now, do you still go, you, you very uh, famously go to uh, the Nate and Al's restaurant. Every morning with my friends you, from you childhood. Still, still do that? Every, it's a ritual, seven days a week, no matter what's going on in the world, I go to Nate and Al's. That, because I, I'm, I'm there with friends, we grew up together. Is the food New good there? Friends, I, oh, it's terrific, it's a Jewish deli. Right, well, that's How could it be bad? Yeah, 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 that's in fact, you go out of there, you eat enough, you go to Mount Sinai, and you wait for your number, and you get a heart attack. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding, the food is really good. Yeah, no, it, but, yes. when you can be with friends that you know from... Junior, high school, Sid, Asher, new friends. Yeah. Irwin, Michael. Yeah. Michael Irwin? <laughs> no, Irwin, comma. Oh, my. My so Irwin. Michael Irwin is now. Because he's but, a good ball player, there. Michael Irwin. George Slaughter, great man. You know him? Uh, he produced Laugh In. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, great yeah. Yeah, genius yeah. of comedy. Yeah. So we all gather every morning and we solve every problem known to man. <laughs> We discuss baseball, we discuss soccer, we discuss you rules discuss and regs. soccer. All we, we do, soccer? yeah, what we say is... It's a girl's game. No, no. Come on. I thought you would love soccer. No, no, I emigrated to get away from soccer. <laughs> you know what I can't figure out about soccer? What? I mean, I love... Uh, baseball's my favorite. Yeah, I like baseball. And you like cricket? No. Okay. No, you no. Know, Albert Brooks had a great line about cricket. What did he say? Cricket is baseball on Valium. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. I think it's gay baseball on Valium, actually. <laughs> But soccer, the fans of soccer is the most popular sport in the world. Yes, I know. All yeah, fans attend it. soccer, mm -hmm. but I've never been able to get the gauge of it. Kids love. But anyway, we sit at Nate Niles and we solve all the problems. Today, we solved Iran. Well, Enlighten us then. What, what, how's, how's it going to? How's it going to be fixed? Uh, then, then nothing's going to happen. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, <laughs> now listen, this is uh, right now. I've just written a memoir as well. You know, it's, it's, it's coming out in September. It is. Yeah. Who's publishing it? Harper Collins. Good, good. Uh, I, got, I got Harvey Weinstein. Uh, oh, Harvey Weinstein? Yeah, he's, he's, he can have you killed. <laughs> he's the one guy. Oh, he, that's the guy in Hollywood. If he doesn't like you, I think I think he wants. Not anymore, isn't that the predator that's in prison now? 
or is this another Weinstein or were they both culpable? Weren't they the Weinstein brothers? I'm not positive. Not a fan. But it's sad because they did make a lot of good movies and that every time you see the name Weinstein come up, you're like, mm, I don't want to like this film. <laughs> Book two. All right, yeah, but just be careful who you do business with. I tell you what bothered me. This is what bothers sometimes. See the back of you get yeah, a close up. Okay. Yeah. Get a close up of this? Yeah, look at that. All right, that. That's me yeah. kissing my little boy Chance, who is now ten. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. However He's very small for ten. Now you should have to take, take to the doctor or something. <laughs> He should probably look a bit older than that. You know what I'm saying is, what hurts me, I'll tell you what hurts me. Well, I would never argue well, Let me tell you, not you. Oh, okay. People said, what a great little grandchild. Oh, that's right. That hurts. Yeah, I know. Yeah. You should say, but you do have, I mean, you've you got quite a lot of kids, Larry. I, mean, I got three grown and two and, a, and one adopted. I got one adopted, two natural, four natural, one adopted, and a stepchild. <laughs> and, uh, as circles <laughs> would say... That one in Honolulu, I don't know. I don't <laughs> we gotta go. Larry Kang, everybody! I know him as the, the longtime host of Larry King Live on CNN. That's a clue to who it is. Sorry, I'm going to go back a little bit because I want to see what the date was. The, the longtime host of Larry King Live on CNN. That's a clue to who it is. Please welcome American broadcast legend Larry King, everybody. Larry King. when you were doing stuff with all those guys and that thing, you know. I knew a few of those yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I did a favor for one of them one night. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, this is a true story. I, I did a benefit uh, for, a, for a guy named Boom Boom Giorno. And, uh, you did a favor for a guy called Boom Boom? I said, yeah. no, it was for the boys' town of Italy. Okay. And at the end of the, the evening, I was the MC. Boom Boom was walking me to my car. Uh -oh. And he says... Uh, he did a good job, kid. I says, thanks, Boom Boom. He said, listen, when I talk to the guys, uh, we owe you a favor. I says, oh, Boom Boom, I don't need any favors. He says, oh, we don't we don't like to owe favors. Oh. I says, you don't like to owe favors? No, no we, we, we don't like to owe favors. What can we do for you? I said, well, what do you got in mind? He said, five words. You'll never hear those five words. This people will never hear those five words. He said... Got anybody you don't like? Do you have a number for Boom Boom? <laughs> Got anybody you don't Take like? The, truth. the first thing you think of, if that's ever said to you by yeah. a member of the mafia, yeah, his names. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I thought of the. I, I saw. I thought of a couple right I there. Thought of, I thought of the general manager at Channel Four where I was working. I saved his life that night. Yeah. <laughs> By not saying his name. He said, well, we got to do something for you. So I said, oh, you like horse racing? I said, yeah. He says, okay, we'll be in touch. And I get a call one morning. A strange voice just said, apple tree in the third today at Hialeah. Oh. Ooh. I took all the money I had. I go out to Hialeah, put it all on apple tree. 
horses are going in the gate. I said to myself, there were three sure things in life. <laughs> Death, taxes, and that was the I said, no, you like the horse racing. If I do have enough, who said it? Sorry, I'm trying not to shake the bed too much because you can hear it. My neighbors should be happy I don't have a boyfriend. See that? That's sick. That's part of the illness. It's what, it's what I do here to try and break the monotony. <laughs> will, you, will you pitch this show? to the suits yeah upstairs i didn't do any of that no one pitched no them. i never have like that what happened was that uh, creek kilborn was here and he was doing the show it was a great show, uh, good show. and then the i show. came along and ruined it <laughs> but did you say i got an idea i'm gonna have a coffee cup i'm gonna have a, a talking partner who yeah uh, has been dead 720 years he got into broadcasting at the same time as Regis, actually. Uh, yeah. I'm going to have a horse run out, too. No, I don't do any of that, because CBS don't know I'm on. <laughs> See, this, this whole thing is kind of a pirate operation. What happens is, they think that they're running right now a boner pill commercial, right? Or some kind of... That's true. Yeah, they don't know I'm here. Network officials... They don't know. They don't know. Tim Conway was on my radio show once, right? and he bet me that he and I could schedule a pilot at NBC without them knowing it. <laughs> They've been taken right we now, called, Larry, I said. <laughs> we called up. We scheduled a pilot on the phone. We went down that day. They had a studio for us. They had cameramen. And I said, okay, what do you guys need for your pilot? We had no pilot. <laughs> so I, it's possible that CBS... Does not know this show. They, no, Larry. no, it's, it's not. A, it's not a joke, Larry. They don't know I'm here. When they find out, they're gonna be mad. <laughs> Someone said the other day, did Larry King Live leave our network? <laughs> did you? Uh, what are you, what you are you doing now? That you're, well, I'm gonna do four specials a year for CNN. Right. I've done a lot of talks about. I can't retire. I mean, I'm nah, gonna. You're not gonna bit. retire. I want to spend more time with my little boys. You know, right. have fun. And, uh, so you do that for a couple of days, then what are you going to do? <laughs> no, I want to be with the wife, I want to be with the boys, I like family life, I got nice life, I live in Beverly Hills. So oh, that's nice. Not bad. Do you know the Beverly Hills Housewives? Do you ever watch that show? Uh, there's some tasty uh, dames there. <laughs> I'll bet you watch. <laughs> oh, yes I do, yeah. Uh, uh, when you say this show is sad, we're not sick at all. This is just, you know, just some dude no, trying I, to make a buck. But these, uh, that show is sick. I've never seen it. Well, it's, 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 imagine... Is the, it on CBS? Uh, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> what is it on? Uh, the, Bra Bravo, yeah, the gay network. It's on the, uh... Well, who's in a gay guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bravo! <laughs> Bravo to you for that belt! But the, the, uh... <laughs> No, imagine, because you're part of the community of Beverly Hills, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Well, but I'm, uh, you've probably seen those girls around. Well, there's a lot of housewives in Beverly Hills. Oh, come on. There are. There yeah. are there's a lot of nice people. Beverly no, Hills there are, are nice people. That's Beverly true. Hills is a great place to live. It, it, there's certain things it doesn't have. Right. Movie theater. Poor people. people. What? Poor people. It doesn't poor have a poor people. It doesn't have a 7-Eleven. It doesn't have a 7-Eleven. Well, you, have... you don't need one, do you? Really? <laughs> Hey, what would we do with a 7-Eleven? Uh, turn it into, it into a movie no, theater. No, but it's, it, it's a wonderful place to live. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'd go down there quite a lot. No one can drive there, though. Why? I don't know why. I guess guess it doesn't matter if they have a fender bender. Like, oh, I had someone who cares. <laughs> you know what they hate? You know what's so weird about Southern California is rain. Rain? You can't take rain. No, no one can drive here the in the rain. The news begins yeah. with storms. Yeah, I know. It's like, it, it's, mean, it's raining? Yeah, yeah. Storms. Storms coming in from the Pacific. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds much more dramatic than you go outside and it's like... <laughs> that's, that's gay rain, they by the way. Yeah. 
maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll be a weatherman. No, Larry. Oh, that no, must be man. Fun. Come on, man. This man would have stick to me. No, you right? have to change your name to something weathery, like Stormy King or something like that. Stormy King. Hey, Foggy King. How'd you like to meet a weatherman in Hawaii? <laughs> Sunny. <laughs> Back to you, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> you got yourself going now, don't you? <laughs> hey, we have to take a break. We hang around, we'll be right back. I'll be back. All right, we'll be right back with Larry King. Oh, yeah. It's either a, one of the great gimmicks of all time. Right. My boys have it. My two boys, right. they play ball. They play football, baseball, they play everything. And they wear these. So you go, I went to a little league game, and you do this. You stand there. You wear a silly band? No, this is for my cardio. No, 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 no. Right here, yeah, buddy. That's a silly one. band. Yeah, right there. It's the Dodgers. It spells out Dodgers. Oh, it spells Dodgers? Yeah, oh, that's you adorable, Larry. <laughs> You, know, you, lost your, you lost your damn mind. They you know do that, this. Right? Well, All right. Now, here's what they do. Right. Stick out your arms, they say, right? All right. Okay. And then you take both my arms okay. and bend them down, right? Like that? Push them down. All right. Oh, wow. How easy. Now you put this on. Uh-huh. Now try it. Oh. I played along here. <laughs> That's how you sell it. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I, it's so, a power pressure. So do you, do you go in for all that, all that mysticism? Do you like to have crystals in your pants and all that kind of thing? I'm Jewish. You can still have crystals in your pants. It's not, it's not like, you know, it's We're not... Getting I, away. We're getting away at a wallet. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like Mel Gibson has all the crystals. You know <laughs> You can have crystals even if you're Jewish. It's all right. This is such... I, I can't tell you how fun it is. You know if you I mean? ever want to take a night off, I would do this show. Go ahead, right now. <laughs> right now, all you have to do is... Uh, what else is Move over. Well, you could interview me a bit. Go ahead, sit here and I'll sit there. Nah. You're afraid of... <laughs> well, you're afraid, you're afraid. Of afraid of... Wait, wait, dude, don't stop. You're afraid... <laughs> You're afraid that one of the suits will tune in magically to see about the Pepto Bismol commercial. Come on, then. Come on. Come on, then. Come on, then. Let me tell you about my movie. We have a. I have a great guest tonight, Craig Ferguson, one of the classic late night entertainers. Do you miss Scotland? Yeah. You think about no, Scotland? No, 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 no. I just get on, I get on the plane and it goes right there. And every single time I've landed right on it. I'm sorry. The way that King is like leaning in on him, like he's literally, he's like interrogating him. Like, <laughs> You're a talk show host, Larry. <laughs> this is not a police interrogation to find out when the last time he was in Scotland was. <laughs> the planes go not shot. The planes go not from Newark. They go. They don't go from uh, Los Angeles. You know why? Why? Because it's too far. <laughs> Are you a funny kid? No, no, I'm not a funny adult. So, uh, not a funny kid? No, no, I wasn't really. No, I, it, it didn't do to me. You, you should. Uh, oh, look, it says Craig Ferguson. Uh, the... No, it doesn't. You see, they're not sure. They're not sure. <laughs> the late oh, yeah, show with two how, how small that is. Yeah, I yeah, know. They, they could take that off in a minute. Oh, sure. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, Larry. I could leave and they'd be like, have we I'm, I, I, I have no doubt it. In fact, I'm, I'm convinced. If they turned out now, they'd be they like, would... oh, when did Larry start? Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad we signed him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet the ratings just went up. <laughs> Some drunk just tuned in. What the hell's going on? Yeah. <laughs> the world is beyond me. Do you still uh, you still drink a lot? Never drank. You never drank? Ever? I've, you know something? I've never been drunk. 
I never liked it. Try it's a blast. I never liked the. T- I think it's a control Craig, no. issue. Yeah, I never yeah. liked. First, I never liked the taste. Well, there's lots of different tastes. You know, I have the vodka and the, it just don't taste. It yeah. don't taste good to me. Okay, well, I, I don't. I used to butter around with Jackie Gleason, not to drop names. Right. Okay. And Gleason said to me, "I said don't the taste." He got, he got drunk once or twice. Once or twice. Uh, a day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I said, "Doesn't it taste terrible?" He says, "Hey, if Coca-Cola did for me what this does for me, I drink Coca-Cola." Well, that's, that's fair enough. Yeah. So you've been uh, inebriated at times. Oh yeah, the 1980s. <laughs> Did you miss the 1980s? Pretty much, but, you know, it was the shoulder pads and, you know, that was about it, really. I, uh, shoulder pads and Dynasty, I feel that was okay. Did you get hangovers? I never used to get hangovers until, um, until I stopped drinking. I, I mean, I kind of get them now. I think it's part of getting older. I, I mean, I haven't had a drink in nearly 20 years, but I, you know, I... How old are you? I'm 48. Wow, you don't look it. Right, I mean, <laughs> they're taking that out. No, no, man. They leave that in your yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. By the way, what? do Scotsmen drink scotch? All the time, man. Uh, is that, is oh, that yeah. their favorite drink? Yeah, yeah, no, it's called scotch because it's popular in the country of Scotland. <laughs> and you know, I, you know, the first time Why I tried, I never told anybody this, let me tell you this. Tell the me. first time I. Who said this? Yeah, yeah. I. The first time. I ever tried to get sober, I was about 25, right? And I went, I thought, I'll go away to an island off the coast of Scotland, an island called Isla, right? Isla has more whiskey distilleries per square mile than anywhere else on earth. And all they want to do is say, here, try the whiskey, it's free. It's the one, you, nobody could get sober on Isla. And I, uh, and I stayed sober for, man, an hour and a half, too. <laughs> It really is such a place. Oh, yeah, it's a magical kingdom known as Isla. They make very, very nice uh, whiskeys. If you're looking for whiskey, that's uh, that's where you should go. Did you ever try things rougher than whiskey? Okay. <laughs> well, what is that like? Okay. Now, Lenny Bruce used to say there has to be something good about it. About cocaine? Yeah, but God, why I, the so only thing things? I liked about cocaine, in all honesty, was that I let you drink more. <laughs> I swear. I mean, I, I I tried taking it once, you know, without alcohol around. I was like, this is just turns you into a jerk. You know, but I thought you can't mix the two. <laughs> oh, bless you. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I really thought that. No, no. You're a good guest. No, you're a good you, 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 you're the most that you should do it. Yeah. <laughs> this could be my ticket. Let's right, go. <laughs> But, um, no, you, uh, the reason why I took it, it was because you, I didn't black out when I was, uh, drinking and doing coke. But coke's illegal, so I would never do it. <laughs> Did you ever try anything else with the two of them? What, you mean heroin? They, you couldn't do coke, heroin, and liquor. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> CBS executives, I'm available. <laughs> you just tuned in. Larry King has usurped the throne for the night. It's Craig Simon. What did we learn on the show tonight, Craig? Sharon Woodward, who was scheduled to be a guest tonight, who now hates me. No, no, no. Sh- Sh- Shannon Woodward. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Our apologies to Shannon Woodward. We'll have her back soon. Yeah, uh, it would really never have happened if I was sent by the desk, Shannon. <laughs> I, I run blaming thing. me for this. Okay, you're the one sent no, by the desk. You... The, the buck stops there, mister. <laughs> Let's talk about gray hair. <laughs> did, it, did it come early? Downstairs it did, yeah. <laughs> but that part of me was working harder than the upstairs part. A couple of other things I'm fascinated about you. When they hired you, yeah. how did they tell you? How did they say that one of the suits called, who called and said, we want you 
They said to the late late. They show. said we've got good news and we got bad news. <laughs> the good news is you are allowed to stay in the United States. <laughs> the bad news is there's a condition. Uh, and then I had to come and do that. Do you work for David Letterman? No. No, I don't. But I thought this was worldwide. They, no, they, they do, but I actually uh, work for CBS. So your check comes from... Check. <laughs> your remittance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Comes from CBS. Yes, yes. Do you ever meet with the executives? Yeah, there's, a, there's an executive. No, I mean, last time, say, Lester Moonves. Yeah. President of CBS. Yeah, yeah. When did you meet with him last? What's the gentleman's name again? <laughs> Moonface. Moonface. No, I see him from time to time for legal reasons. Does he know who you, does he know who you are? Yeah, he's all right, actually. He's all right. He's, he's a good guy. Yeah, he's, he's an a, actor. You know him, right? Yeah, very but well. He's kind of different because he, you were right, he was an he's actor. So he's, he's kind of like... Are we out of time? Who cares? <laughs> oh, we are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll be back tomorrow night. Who's oh, our okay. guest? Tomorrow night? Uh, Regis, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Emily Deschanel, well, that she's on the Bones show. You ever oh, yes. the Bones oh, show? Oh, uh, hey. That's a good guest. I'd love interviewing her, so you can take off. All right. <laughs>
like to pay. I'm a, are you still talking about bagels? I'm a, I'm a strange Jewish person. <laughs> I like to pay. No. I like my bagels. Yeah. I like that, and I like, I'm a bagel person. Do you like bagels? I love bagels. Yeah. If you don't like bagels, there's something get out of here, I say. something about it. I like them. Do you, I like bagels that are so fat they're whole closed. You know what I mean? When they're, they're... Now, what are you talking about? I'm just saying. <laughs> so fat you can't even get your finger down through the middle of it. That's when you got a bagel. I want to taste it. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the strangest show yeah. in the history of television. You bet. And you've been doing this this is six seasons. Six right? seasons. Yeah. And the weird part of that is that the CBS people, as we discussed, they have no idea how much. I think I'll do some kind of NCIS thing or something. I called up. No, I yeah, don't think so. He said, What time is the Ferguson show? The, yeah, he said, The what? Yeah. Yeah, no idea. They think it goes David Letterman, Shamwell commercial, good morning, CBS. So, when you get your check. Check! <laughs> forget in 20 minutes that there's food in the oven because I will the smoke detector will let me know beep beep dinner's done I think, like you're, I think you're being politically, you know, careful. I think what you're doing. What do you, you want me to not like them? First of all, I like to see people do well. You are lying. You can't be in show business. <laughs> why, why would you be mad? I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I, just, I think it would be a great example, job. Here's something I never understood. Well, movie people. Yeah. They don't like other movies to do well. No, they don't. Columbia got a movie open. They don't want the Sony movie to do That's well. That's right. But they place trailers in the movie theater yeah. while that movie's showing the Columbia movie yeah, in the hopes that the people going to see it will come and see their movie next week. That's right. Why wouldn't they want that movie to be jammed? Because you got to remember, uh, Larry, that the, the show business is run by morons. Uh, uh, and many of these people do not have degrees. Uh, <laughs> I don't. No, no, and neither do I. And, and most of the people involved in the running of this giant ship of fools don't either, you know. The, the, the smart people are doing the heart surgery. The idiots are doing this business. Yeah, well, uh, it's crazy that we would be more famous. I tell you the truth. When I had my heart surgery. Yeah. Three days later, I'm in the recovery room, and a guy walks in. And he says, "I am a brain surgeon. You're going to interview a brain surgeon." Couple yeah, it's actually going on. Yeah, yeah. This guy comes in. He says to me, "You know, I operate on the brain. Your heart surgeon, Dr. Wayne Isom. He was in the cover of Time Magazine. Wow. This guy did a lot of famous people. Wow. Everybody knows him. And you know what he is? Wow. He's a plumber." That's all heart surgeons are. They take a while, they move this, they move that. But I am a brain surgeon, he said. I make one mistake, one inch, I can lose your whole memory. That's how delicate I am, and nobody knows me. I, Is he really a brain surgeon I or just a guy who walked in no, from a ward no, somewhere? I said to him, I said to him, because the song isn't I left my brain in San <laughs> That's nice. So the heart is kind of a romantic thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, no, no, yeah. And now I'm going to do a comedy tour. Yeah, no, I was just going to ask you about that. I thought, yeah, you towards the end, I better let you do your plug. Yeah. Do I do it? Am I, am I only one segment? Yeah, yeah. Well, we only do one segment. We just do a long segment here. Because yeah. last time I was two segments, so I'm a little hurt. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, we, we got a brain surgeon coming up, man. But you can hang out. I tell you what. I tell you what. What? Clear the table. Yeah. I'll lie down. He'll do my brain. <laughs> You'll be up first. I don't. I don't want any of that. First of all, the the lightning here is way too dangerous to perform surgery. In it. I wouldn't get a tattoo in this light. Never mind. And, and secondly, no, you don't want to do that. We don't have to do it. You can just hang out. You're a perfectly professional broadcaster. It would be a nice change, actually, around here. You never yeah. have the second yet. Yeah, never use it. Well, you can go to that chair and then appropriately add stuff. I'll the robot's working no, anyway, so I'm perfect. You know. But uh, I will say this. I am. I've always tried to be funny all my life. I used to speak at conventions and sales meetings. And now... Oh, well, you're doing the stand-up tour. Yeah, God, I forgot. Yeah, so... The combination of... 
my father-in-law, who has been a manager for years in show business. Yeah. My nephew, Scott Seifer, one of the top Broadway producers. Yeah. And the people at uh, William Morris, Endeavor. Oh, yeah. I've heard Organist, of them. Uh, yeah. All together. And they got me booked, so hold on. Wait, was this your day? No, no it's just like... I'll just give you a couple of days. Yeah, all right. I can... <laughs> Oh, I got read Saturday all night. No, I'm not gonna read them all. all right. Saturday, May fourth. Where's that, I'm gonna, I'm, where's that I'm, camera that shows the Twitter? No, I just, I just want to take a few calls while you're doing it. All right. All right. Saturday, May, Saturday, May fourteenth at the Borgata in Atlantic. That's City. a good place, Borgata. Great place. Yeah, not as good as the Tropicana, which is why. My wife is yeah. gonna open for me. She's, Your wife's opening for you? Yeah, she's a great. Are we still talking about? <laughs> Be so lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Saturday, May 15th, we're at the Wilbur Theater in Boston. I'm good. Now, that's a great theater. I'm, except look out for the uh, asbestos backstage. Do you know Do you know uh, the Hoosier Park Racing Casino in Anderson, Indiana? I wish I did. On their Friday, May 20th. Yeah, that, that's a, like, well, no, you enjoy right, yourself, but I'll come and see you. Probably the... I'd love to have you come. Yeah, I'd love to do that. You're going to come. Are you going to hang around and talk about Vegas, talk, 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 talk. June 11th. In Vegas at the Mirage. Okay. And June 10th in Reno. Look, uh, let me hey. advertise somebody who actually pays for it, and then we can go back and talk to you a little more. Really you want me to take we'll a break? We'll bring back. We'll 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 oh, they were having uh, Dr. Sanjay Gupta on. I like Dr. Gupta. Oh. Oh, I do have to laugh, though, because Larry said uh, he was a little hurt because he got a double long segment the last time he was there. We just watched the last time he was there. He usurped the table and had to apologize to the guest that was supposed to come out at that point. <laughs> Larry King don't give a fuck. And I love it. Late show with Larry King, special guest me. Uh, nice having you back. Thanks very much. What's happened is that, uh, as luck would have it, uh, on the very night the robot broke down, uh, a legend of broadcasting happened to be here. Could you stand over where the robot is? Oh, is this where we're, is this where he's going to be Jeff's voice? This is so funny. You got a great guest. Yeah, I know. I've got. I've got. This is so right. funny. Well, let me introduce the guest. That you yeah, don't, don't, don't go ahead. Don't. Oh. <laughs> hurts me when you're not here. <laughs> My next guest is CNN's chief medical correspondent. The show Sanjay Gupta, MD, airs Saturday and Sunday mornings oh, on no. CNN. No, Please welcome it. very talented Dr. Sanjay Gupta. But I guess we're going to talk to Dr. Gupta because Larry King is going to hang out and it's still pro he's probably going to take over. <laughs> it's Larry King. He's going to wind up being the host again. Each other, don't get from the CNN. Wow, we've worked together for years. One of my favorites. Really? Whenever we had a medical crisis, bam, Sanjay was our chief guest. In fact, right. we're doing a special on Alzheimer's on May 1st. He'll be one of I the I forgot guests. about that. <laughs> I'm a brain surgeon. Brain surgeon. Why don't yeah. you put the snake close to me when you ask that? Well, yeah. <laughs> Are you a brain surgeon? No, heart surgeon. So, uh, what, now, is that true? Do brain surgeons think of, is Larry right? Do brain surgeons think of heart surgeons as plumbers and, you know? Well, you know, I mean, there's 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 good sort of uh, camaraderie and back and forth in the hospitals for sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, people think of the brain as sort of the seat of the soul. Right. Uh, the heart, you know, is basically just a big pump. Well, that's so, what you think. Yeah. Larry thinks that the heart is a romantic organ. I think they're both large, you know, muscle tissue masses, and they have no romantic connection or soul connection at all. Really? I think, yeah, I think your soul is somewhere else, probably in your pants or something. <laughs> Maybe not in your pants, but the robot's not working. You can transplant the heart, you can't transplant the brain. Well, not yet, but that, that will it come. It could happen, yeah. Do you think so, that would happen one day? Uh, I think it'd be very hard, very hard. So it's, uh, you know, it's very intricate, and there's lots well, it's of not connection. Easy to transplant a heart either, though. It's, it's not, like not that the... hard. Really? You just got a couple of big blood vessels, you sew them in. People say it's easier to transplant a heart than actually doing heart bypass surgery. Really? Yeah, because you're sewing in big blood vessels when you do a heart transplant. Right. Uh, yeah. I, I, this is a different game, yeah. right, no, really, to me. 
I, I tell jokes to that guy. Yeah. <laughs> so listen, uh, before I follow you on the Twitter. Uh, you're, you're big on the Twitter, and oh, um, Craigie Ferg. And, uh, and I've been uh, I've been watching you in Japan. Yep. Right now, how are things over there? You know, it's it's a it's a disaster. Oh, I know I, that. I, Absolutely. I, I, I mean, I, I come back from these places, and this, I mean, I just uh, you know, not to sound trite, but I mean, how good do we have it, right? I mean, these, of course. These, yeah. uh, people uh, living on the northeast coast there, they were completely slammed by the tsunami. Obviously, were you up near the reactor there? Yeah, we, yeah, we were, we were as uh, you know. Before the whole concern about the reactor said we were about 30 kilometers away. Right. And the concern started, and they started moving people further and further away. But, yeah, I mean, the nuclear fears uh, continue now, you know, so many weeks later. This is a country, and people sort of know this, but this is a country that has a very antagonistic relationship with radiation. I mean, people live through the bombs yeah, right. over there, and the country is older. So to build that nuclear facility was a, was a big deal mm -hmm. in Japan. People did not want it. And now this is just, uh, you know, in many ways going to confirm those, those awful fears. Now, the, the, the sky, I have not really got an idea of the size or scale of this problem. Is it, is it similar to Chernobyl? Is it that bad? Is it, well, you know, they, 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 it's interesting because they have a scale of 1 to 7. Chernobyl was a 7. They're yeah. saying this is a 6. Wow. And, uh, but it could, it could rise to the level of Chernobyl if it continues to get worse. I mean, things aren't under control as of yet. So, And I'm amazed by little things. You know, like, you know the, the other day we heard that these, these workers who are basically the last line of defense between the, this plant and the rest of Japan. Right. Um, they were walking in this radioactive water, and, and two of the guys, their boots were so low that the water seeped in. The third guy had higher boots, so he wasn't affected by it. I, it's amazing to me they don't have adequate protection. I mean, these guys are, you know, doing amazing work, you know, they're... Yeah. Yeah, Why don't they have ago. adequate presentation? I don't know. It's just it's been a bizarre thing. You know, we, we weren't getting adequate information. We've come to find out these guys aren't being adequately protected. Yeah. And yet everyone, I mean, the whole world's paying attention to this. How do you how do you uh, how do you deal with it when you come back from from something like that? And you how do you decompress when you go you go to Larry's Bagel Store or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, because you can't you can't walk around like you're a doctor, so I guess you have to you disengage at some point from the drama of right. what you're doing because it's it's re nearly all big drama with you all the time, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it was hard. You know, this, I, we were on a very rare vacation uh, when this earthquake happened. We hadn't taken a family vacation in a couple of years. We finally got away for a kid's spring break, and 30 hours literally into the vacation is when the, the earthquake happened. Right. And my wife just looked at me, and she said, you're going to go, aren't you? And three hours later, I was gone. It, you know, so we're used to this sort of thing. I think, you know, it's interesting, Craig. Larry has a couple of wives that have said to him, you were going to go, aren't you? <laughs> I was amazed because these past three minutes yeah. have been the most serious three minutes in six years. It's a serious, <laughs> it's a serious subject. I was listening very well, and you know. were very good. You asked yeah. good questions. So why do you go off tangent like that? Oh, well, coming from you, that is great. Really, the man, the man who stays on topic all the time. I've seen you ask a guest about their groceries. <laughs> Maybe that was yeah. me, I don't know. Did you guys, well, do you, do you uh, work together now or do you work with the other uh, guy now? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, with uh, Piers Morgan. Yeah, no, I work, I work with Piers too. I work with Larry for a long time and we had some, uh, we had some, we had some fun shows. Are you going on the road together doing stuff? I'd, I'd be happy yeah. to, Larry. He's funny. I'm a funny guy sometimes. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, well, hey, wait a minute. You know, the, the, this should be a first. What? An Indian and a Jew tour together. And a Scotsman. A Scotsman. Uh, and a Scotsman. Yeah. Yeah. You come along. They walked into the bar and had a wonderful time. Let's get a name for the trio. Uh, King's Things. King's Things. That's my Twitter site. Yeah, I know. That's why I said it. King's What's your Twitter name? Uh, Sanjay Gupta, CNN. CNN. CNN, uh, yeah. yeah. Craigie Ferg. Craigie Ferg. Yeah. yeah Craigie Ferg. You know, isn't it good that the, 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 it's Craigie us that are on? Ferg. Yeah, Craigie Ferg. Yeah. yeah. Craigie what Ferg. Happened? I'm what talking happened? to Dr. Gupta. He's a brain surgeon, Larry. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Transplant a brain. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> <laughs> Never know. I think it could happen one day. Add robots. Okay, then. Whose the brain. brain would you transplant? Oh. Sorry. Transplant a brain. Are you out of your mind? But don't you. <laughs> oh, I'd have yours, Larry. I'd say I would. I would have guessed you'd have taken Donald Trump. Well, in easy access. Just lift that up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
I know what you're thinking. Hey, why have they got the camera on lesbian row? So, a Scotsman, an Indian, and a Jew. I think that would work, actually. Don't you think it would work? You know what about two Scotsmen came walking out of a bar? No. Could happen. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Should I be offended by that? People get very no. offended. All right. No. You, you got a brain surgeon. Oh, you got here. a brain surgeon. Yeah. Yeah. Should, should I, then, doctor, be, be offended? offended? Yeah. Definitely not. Do you get offended not. by Indian jokes? Uh, yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, I just... I just want to point out how casual and real Craig Ferguson was. This is his show, and he is literally sitting at the feet of his guests. Now, granted, his guests are a king and a brain surgeon, but it's his show. And he has loosened his tie and just sat down on the floor at their feet. Show me another talk show host that do that that did things like that before him. There's going to be more eventually, but he was. I don't know. It just feel it feels very real and very like he's very, he's humbling himself, but not like openly. Does that make sense? Am I just really high? I should probably go check on my food. Uh, you hear Indian jokes. Yeah, no what? Indian what? Jokes. No, no, right here, I tell you that for another. <laughs> well, we're done, uh, Larry. You want to? on tomorrow night, Craig. Uh, who gives? Tootsie the fruits. <laughs> <laughs> and it airs on July the 10th on CNN. Please welcome my friend. He is Mishpuka around here. Larry King, everybody. Larry. For a second, I'm gonna break in real quick. We are only about a quarter of the way through this, so this is going to be a very, very long video. Hold on, I don't want to. I don't want to cover up Larry's face. Put me down here over the CBS logo. Um, food is. Why did I freeze? Don't do that. Do not do that. Don't make me come in there. Sorry. Food is almost ready. I am not going to eat on camera. Because I am... This is my first meal today. All of that walking that I did earlier, I did before eating. <laughs> I do that often. Um, 
And so subconsciously, I'm aware that not only do I need food, I am fully entitled to food after a trip that long on foot. Because I made the exact same trip that I made there back. Um, but my, I, I, I do have, I do deal with an eating disorder and I feel like, like people shouldn't see me eat because then they're going to be judgmental about that. I'm eating how much I'm eating, what I'm eating. I'm not even going to give you all the chance to do that to me. <laughs> I'm just going to turn the face off and you can hear me slurping in the background. No, I'm going to turn the show up so you won't hear hardly anything from my end, I swear. But I will be here. <laughs> so, I'm going to go away. I will eventually be back. But in the meantime, we have these gentlemen who are hilarious. He's not just a robot. He's a ro he's a reanimated skeleton. It's not just a robot skeleton. It's none of your. Uh oh, Larry. This is this. Sorry, I noticed right before you went on. Yeah, I heard you say, "What are, what are we doing tonight?" Yeah. Now I used to do things off the cuff. Yeah, but I had some idea. <laughs> I had. I knew who the guest was. Yeah, and I had some concept. Of where we were going. Well, that's where you went wrong. Listen, I don't think I'm doing this thing. The last time you were here, you were going out to do the stand up tour. How's it going? It's going great. Is it good? Worked about five, six cities, booked in about ten others. Going to, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, what's you were going to Hong Kong, Hong Kong, Singapore, Australia with a with a comedy tour. Really? And I'm going to Tampa, uh, New York. Right. All over Florida. That's I, I that's go out. New York's not in Florida. I go out. Florida. Stay away from Joe King. It's just not in Florida. It's a dangerous place. I mean, I'll check. I don't think so. No. Treat your guests though. Ah, oh, come I, on. Anyway, you. I go. I, I, I love to tell stories. I've been doing it all my life at right. conventions and the like. And so my, uh, my nephew Scott Zeiger, who's a famous theatrical producer, produced a lot of hits. My uh, father-in-law, you know, Carl. Yeah, Carl. Yeah, I don't know. Great. Great, yeah. great manager. You know, he's a great manager and often in very attractive knitwear. Do you ever notice with Carl and he, sometimes I see Carl like, wow, look at that sweater he's, he's wearing. Not to say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knitwear. I no, no, knitwear. 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 Yeah, yeah. You see, when you see Carl, you put a sweater on and you go, you know, there's a guy that, that likes to get wool around him. <laughs> He'd like him. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, like him, yeah. Anyway, so, and we got, uh, Major, so it's a major production. So we do it as a Broadway show. I okay. come on. We got backdrops. We got rear screens. It's a very well done, and it's funny. It's ninety minutes funny. On some places, my wife Sean, whom you know, right. she opens for me. Like she'll do twenty minutes. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, on the show, right? <laughs> I thought you meant if you, if you were particularly good I, on stage that night. I, no, no, that's I, the, now you're really talking about the past. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, tell me about the book. Oh, no, first tell you're me about really the book. I'll get the book in a minute. Yeah, never mind the book. Over the, um, I got a lot of things. No, the Harry Potter. What's oh, going yeah. on? You're in the Harry Potter we movie? Four specials a year. Right. First one we did was on Alzheimer's disease. Right. This one on July 10th is we got access to all the filming of the last Harry Potter. We got access to the major stars. And so on July 10th, we are going to show you an hour special on the making of what will be the final Harry Potter. Well, right. The picture opens on July 15th. I know, because I have a picture opening that day as well. <laughs> yeah. What, what, you have a movie? Yeah, yeah, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> are you in Winnie the Pooh? I'm winning Winnie the Pooh. I play out, yeah. It's your voice. <laughs> I'm going to pause it to say how adorable it is that they actually thought Harry Potter was ever going to end. Even with J.K. Rowling being completely insane by this point, they're making another movie. <laughs> Aren't they? It isn't, isn't Cursed Child a movie? I don't know anymore. Now I may sound stupid. 
first. Yeah, me, yeah. Our opening yeah, yeah. against Harry Potter. That's right. <laughs> you're, going, you're going down, bespectacled wizard. <laughs> okay, what's the betting on who does better financially? I think it's got to be Winnie the Pooh, man. I mean, yeah, no, you know, like Harry Potter, it's okay, but it's kind of run its course, you know. Whereas Winnie the Pooh, it's, well, that's been going about 100 years too, so yeah. No, 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 no. I saw the last produ- I saw the last film of, of Harry Potter. Yeah, you haven't seen Winnie the Pooh, though, man. It's awesome. They, they get caught down a hole and they have to get out. Who do you play? Who do you play? I play owl. I play owl. Oh, I play the wise old owl. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you know that's fun. I was in, I was in Shrek and Billy Crystal's B movie. The funniest thing, the best things to do a voiceover. You, weren't you in uh, Ghostbusters? You were in Ghostbusters. Oh, first Ghostbusters. Yeah, that I was right. the first thing shot. You were the first thing shot. Yeah. What did you say? These Ghostbusters are taking over the city they, or something. Yeah, and they yeah. had me with a vat because I smoked. Then they had a vat of cigarettes. Yeah. And answered all the calls. You used to want to hear a funny Ghostbusters story? Yeah, okay. Okay, I arrive in New York. I've never done a movie. I'm right. just, I was, wasn't on television. I was on local television. Right. And they hired me to do the first scene of the ghost run. So I land in New York and I said, a limo will pick you up. And there's a limo there, except the guy is wearing like a pico jacket <laughs> and jeans and boots. And he don't look like a limo driver. Okay. So we're driving a big flash limo and I say to him, uh, you a limo driver? Yeah, yeah, I do that sometime. I said, well, what? he's up with the Teamsters. Uh, oh, I said, and you have the contract. We have the contract for this movie. Uh, Everything that moves in this movie, we move. We're the Teamsters. So I said to him, well, supposing, supposing I were doing a movie in New York and I didn't use you. And he turned around and went, <laughs> 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 no, you wouldn't be doing a movie in New York. That's right. <laughs> they ran things. Yeah, did you ever meet Jimmy Hoffa? Interviewed him twice. Did you really? Before he went to jail yeah. and after he got out of jail. Yeah, where, where is he now? <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair question. Tell us. Question. Tell us, Larry. He'd be a great guest. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is the kind of show you go on about Jimmy Hoffa. Right? Stay under the radar a little Jimmy, bit. Jimmy. Jimmy. <laughs> memory. Jimmy could go around this audience. I'm not kidding. Yeah. Get the name of everybody. Be yeah. here an hour and remember the name of everybody. Jimmy was a tough guy. Yeah. No. He I had everything either. you want in a guest. He had passion. Yeah. He had the ability to put you in a truck. He really put you in a truck. <laughs> he was a team star. Yeah, Larry, Larry. He was a team star. Larry. Why is the ability to stuff somebody in a trunk what you want in a guest? <laughs> I'm now worried about Larry King live. I never. Maybe I should watch his show. So he's a twister. I, I look. I, let me tell you something. When I book a guest on the show, I'm like, could, uh, do they have the ability to put me in a truck? Because <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't really want to talk to. If him. I were a truck driver, yeah, if you and were, I could describe to you the feeling. Of being a teamster, that would make me interesting. Don't you get it? Hey! Oh, get man, it? I'm trying. I'm okay. Trying. He could put you in the truck. All right. And another thing he had was passion, which you like in a guest. He could passionately put you in a truck. He could put you in a truck. <laughs> the one thing he didn't have that you like in a guest was a sense of humor. Jimmy. No sense of humor? Eh, did not have a great sense of humor. But he did so. Lenny Bruce said we should praise him because he hires ex-cons. Uh, you know, they say we should hire people who get out of prison. Yeah, yeah, we, we do it right here. Jimmy. <laughs> Jimmy Many hired. of the audience tonight are on the We uh, hired a uh, to see that. Right, we got to take a break. We got to take a break. You want to throw a commercial with you? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hey, we'll be right back with more of Craig Ferguson, the robot, a great audience, and other surprises coming. The robot. Don't touch the dial. <laughs> I'm going to touch it. I'm a conduit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm eating a potato skin and I'm making a little water. Uh, Prince William of Britain, you were talking to. <laughs> hey, he recently got married. He got that part when he, that kid, he got that part when he was 11. Yeah. Now he's going to be 22. Yeah. But he's also, he did Equus. And yeah, no, that's the naked horse. Yeah, player. and then yeah. I saw. <laughs> Your, your, eyes, naked horse. Yeah, yeah. your eyes kind of float. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh. Naked horse. He also is on Broadway doing uh, How to Succeed in Business. Yeah. It's fantastic. Is he good? Yeah. Sings, he dances. Yeah, well, well, 
around. Oh, don't, God, I, yes. you know, I don't know if you're telling the truth. <laughs> he has a great English, American accent. Does he really? go backstage? Who blind me? You know, I, that's good, Larry. Do that again. Do it again. Come on. Oh, blind me. Oh, wow, that's awesome. If you, oh, I gotta show you something. Well, you take one of these. Just one. Uh, I, I, Just put it in your mouth for a minute. Not all three. Okay, no, put all three. Uh, <laughs> Hold it in your mouth for about a minute, but then you gotta swallow them all. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap! <laughs> oh, That's how you get it. Just oh, one at a time. Oh, one at a time. Oh, what are you giving? If you don't no, see them again. If I swallow them all, <laughs> if I swallow them all, then I'll, you know, my fartiness will be minty. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Alan? Right, you didn't got You gotta swallow them. Hang on. Oh no. See what you did there? No, what you see. did there? What you did there? You went for the laugh. <laughs> you didn't know. There's one, one all, you do is, all you do is take one. Yeah. You let it dissolve in your mouth for a minute, and then you swallow it, and you have great breath for four hours. You will have great breath for four years. Do, Mom. <laughs> I like to, I like to build it up. You know, let, quickly, let's get to the book because we've done your mints, your show, what, your what, hey, store. Come on. Are you putting me down? I'm not putting you down, man. I would never put you down. You're the governor, as far as I'm concerned. The governor. You know what I mean? This book. You know what I mean? So you, you know how to say blimey, right? Blimey. Right. Well, blimey. You're the governor. All right. you know, I was, why, when people are with British people, yeah. they start to talk British? Like Madonna? You know, I mean, when I'm around a British person, I find that I start to talk British. Are you doing it now? No. <laughs> yes, yes, I guess I am. You know, whenever I talk to Regis Philbin, he starts talking to me in a Pakistani accent because he thinks it sounds Scottish. In his mind, he sounded Scottish. He goes, oh, great, it's very nice to see you. <laughs> Which is, which is why he's leaving too. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, this is a wonderful book. Yeah, is this the book about you? And look at the back stuff? cover. Look at that. Look, you want to see a great back cover? Uh, no, this is, uh, that's the cast of Harry Potter there, is it? Uh, <laughs> that's Chance on the left, baseball camp. That's me. That's Cannon the Comedian. And that's... That's your wife. wife. who you know. Yeah, no, that's right. Uh, so there you go. Uh, I think you knew her before I knew her. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, man. I, well, you uh, knew my father-in-law? Yeah. You knew her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell me, Craig. No, man. You tell me. Don't be ridiculous. You we're, can tell No, me. we're friends. Oh, we're friends. No, friends. You know, we'd go and get a but water bagel together. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, didn't, I mean, we met, but I didn't know her. We just oh, met. Bro. No, it's Carl. I know her, her father. Because he was, you know, I was working at the time in a, <laughs> in a prison, and Carl was there, too. You worked, you worked in a prison? No, well, kind oh, of. Let's go with it. You entertained in a prison? I did. I entertained gentlemen callers in a prison. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, that's how I met you. Yeah. All right, listen, we're out of time. Thanks for the breath, Miss Larry. Oh, Larry King, everybody. Remember? Your guest host for tonight, Larry King. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, no, no. Yes, I am. No, no, yes, no, I am. No, Larry, you're not. No. I was born here in the fourth freak. No, you're not. They told me. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the episode where Larry King becomes Jeff Peterson. I really should not be eating for this next 12 minutes, but here we go. <laughs> Let the madness ensue. I was the guest host. You're the guest sidekick. Well, you can't walk off. We haven't even started yet. <laughs> yes, sidekick. <laughs> you're, the, you're, you're not really the sidekick. You're the voice of the sidekick. The robot is being repaired for a couple of weeks. I you have had a long and distinguished career. It's come to this. <laughs> yes, robot. You should have gone to college. So, here's the thing. Okay. All right. Give me you, the... What happens is you, you, the robot is over there, right? I See the robot over there? In here. Right, right, okay. I've been here when I was a guest. Yes! Those were the good times. Yeah. Now, Sorry, go you, what you do is you're the, <laughs> you're the voice of the robot, but you, you, you have to think like the robot. Get inside the robot. You Be know. a robot. Be a robot. Like, you know the Vulcan mind melt? Like, mm. <laughs> 
robot. Je a Jewish robot? If you want, Larry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so Jewish, I'm a robot. Okay. Right, so that's all you have to do tonight. You will be... Just sit there. No, you'll be inside the robot. Your body will be in stasis. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're putting me in him. <laughs> well, maybe you could do it yourself, Larry. I'm, I'm being made a foil of. No! Yes, no. I'm being made a foil of. No, you're going I came here. No, you're going to lie. No, 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 you're going to lie. Now I'm a robot. No, no, you're going to You're going to lie in a pod off stage and your mind will be taken into the robot's body and you will operate the body using your mind while your body is lying inert. I got it. You are sick. <laughs> okay, I'll do it. I'll do it for you. Thanks, Larry. I will not do this for, for the guy before you. <laughs> that <Right>. yeah. <laughs> he, he, he has a living sidekick, though, Larry. <laughs> it would be very difficult to fit you inside the body of Paul Schaefer. I... <laughs> your pod and let your mind float into the robot. I'm body. going to my pod. Tonight the robot will be live. The truth is there's no shortcut to becoming a great public speaker. It takes years and years of practice. That's why Larry King is so good. Nobody has more experience than he does. No one except perhaps the guy who gives toasts at his weddings. <laughs> Am I right, Larry King? Right, Larry King, Jeff? Am I right about that, buddy? Hey, what, what the hell? Hey. <laughs> now, now you've developed a fear of public speaking. <laughs> Don't even want to do the. Uh, did I piss you off with the wedding thing? Larry King Jeff will hopefully be working again, everybody. I gave him suspenders. <laughs> Isn't that dirty unless fireflies mean something dirty? Do you think fireflies mean something dirty, Larry King Jeff? Oh, uh, yeah, well, well, yeah, well, I'm good. <laughs> So this is so new to me to be a robot. I have my own harmonica. I don't know how to play harmonica. Well, try, try. <laughs> this is of all the things I've done in this business, Greg. This is really the weirdest. <laughs> there's, a, there's an air conditioning blowing directly on top of my head. No, no, that's that's your body's head you're thinking about. There. I like the tube. I like being in the inner tube. I like the feeling in here. It's very. Yeah, but, you're, uh, but your mind is now in the robot, Larry King, Jeff. You must try to think like like a robot. I must think. <laughs> yes. Okay, Craig. I will think oh, like... Oh, I, I didn't say think like a robot who's poor command of the English language. I just meant <laughs> think like a robot. You know, hey, how take would, your... What? How would a robot think? Well, you know, uh, rationally. Think rationally. Don't think we're A rational penis. robot. What? You want me to be a rational robot? Yeah, yeah. Imagine, imagine you're Mitt Romney or something like that. Go down. All right, at first I have to tie my dogs to the top of my car. Which is what he did, by the way. He did that, did he? He drove once. That's true, he drove once. That's true. Uh, he drove once. He drove to Canada. The car was full of people. And he tied the dogs to the top of the car. What? Well, that that, that's outrageous. And, and did the, how did the dogs get into Canada? Don't you need a passport for that or something? I think he got them in. I, well, he must have gotten them in. They got. I don't know how they got back. <laughs> it's a true, you're laughing. It's a true story. I don't know if they got back. Did they ever get back, the dogs? Maybe they blew off the top of the car. What kind of dogs were they? How the hell do I know? <laughs> This is awesome. This show's never been better. <laughs> hey, uh, what time is it, Larry King? It's time for the email. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Play the thing. There is still food on my plate, but I don't want to finish it, but I know I have to finish it. Plus, email. Plus, email. Ah.
This is Fred from Shauna in uh, Manchester, New Hampshire. You ever been to Manchester, New Hampshire? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I didn't shock you. I was there for the uh, uh, primaries in uh, about 12 years ago. I walked the streets of Manchester. <laughs> That's when I was a human. Craig, I was Craig a normal Jew just walking the streets. Decision. I was not a robot. <laughs> or best idea I've ever had in my I got a map anyway look, look here uh uh, anyway, I should have said, say, hi, Craig and Larry King, Jeff. Uh, there's a bowl of candy at work, and I can't help but eat from it all day. What can I do to control myself? Do you have a problem with sugar? You like to eat a lot of sugar? I like sugar, but I don't have a problem with it. I have type 2 diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, 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 like, I like chocolate, milk chocolate. I know dark chocolate is in, but I, you, didn't like, you didn't want this, did you? You didn't want a robot who thinks. You didn't want someone who creates of his own mind. I am going to finish eating after this bit because it gets hilarious. Wait, I will choke. My advice to the lady. Shut up! Okay. Shut up! Shut up. <laughs> This is, I can't, how do you expect me to keep the time? But the robot won't stop talking! <laughs> this is from Tim in Charlottesville, Virginia. You ever been there? No, don't even ask! I'm not asking! <laughs> Dear Craig and Larry King Jeff, I've been told that my voicemail message sounds like a robot. Is it possible to not sound like a robot when you're recording a message? Oh, well, you've come to the right place! <laughs> Hey, do you sound like a robot on your answering machine, Larry? I'm Jeff. I don't answer my answering machine. <laughs> uh, there's a voice that says you've reached this number, leave a message. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, in fact, I don't even know how to do it. I don't know how to do the answer. I don't know how to do the machine. I answer it, that's all. You know what I do, Craig? I got, I got something on news for you. I got, I got news for all people who text. <laughs> That's it, relax. Hey, listen. You want to leave? I'll do the show. We'll be right back. Did he even get to the evening? Yeah, he did. Okay, it was about the end of the show. Stop it! <laughs> She's a very talented actress, uh, you know who can think up stories all the time? Who? Larry King. Oh, you didn't give him, yeah. give, him, give him the name of a town and he's off. Isn't that right, Jeff, Larry King? Yes, can I ask Tilly something? Sure! sure. Tilly. Molly, Molly Shan, it's Molly Shan. I Shad. know it's Molly. <laughs> you know, sure, I, see, I'm in the mood for things, so I'm into the book. So I'm going to ask Tilly. Oh, uh, you're going to ask uh, Tilly? Uh, yeah, you can ask but Tilly, Jeff, huh? do you want me to answer for Tilly? All right, I'll ask Molly. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'll try to bring some coherence to this program. <laughs> Is it hard to write for children in that there's a tendency to write down to the age? To write down to the age? Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? This is not CNN a couple of years ago. You son of a bitch, you've taken over. The robots become self-aware. They just stay out of it. Stay out, stay out of it. Okay. Stay out of it. Molly, is it hard to write for children? Do you find yourself right uh, down to the age of the, the kid that you're right to? No, I don't. I actually... I see, see. So. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ever been to Cleveland there, Larry King, Jeff? Sure. Who hasn't been to Cleveland? It's a great town. <laughs> yeah. uh, have you been there, Craig? They have teams. They have buildings. They have skyscrapers. <laughs> they have the Indians. They have the Browns. They have the Cavaliers. They, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't have a major league hockey team. Uh oh. Well, I'm not going there, Jeff. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Have you ever had your own robot? 
Um, no. <laughs> you want one? Uh, I'll throw in Larry King. You can have Larry King and a robot. Does he do housework? Yeah, sure he does. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll tidy up and, a little uh, bit. Yeah. Do you, th do you ever, uh, do you ever read him the uh, the uh, Doctor Seuss books? Oh yeah, those they're are weird. amazing. They're, they're, they're weird. They're books. They're yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, but they're, they're great cool. when you're learning how to read because they rhyme. Yeah, so they're, yeah. They're great. Yeah. yeah. No, they're too weird. Though. I don't let my kids read. Them. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I don't like any of that weird stuff. Right, robot Jeff, who's got the voice of Larry King. I hate to add some uh, information to this program. <laughs> <laughs> no, go ahead, man. Let's hear it. Please. Uh, Johnny Depp. I did a special with Johnny Depp, and Johnny Depp is going to do uh, the life of Dr. Seuss, the, 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 the reason, the comprehension behind that brilliant children's series, and I hope that Molly's book will enter into that class of books to rank with Dr. Seuss. I just try to bring some clarity to the show. Back to you, Craig. Uh Crazy dream. No, no. Like, just, imagine, he's just gonna imagine like he's weird, Larry King, and I'm even weirder, Anderson Cooper. <laughs> That's what's happening. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you like that, didn't you? Yeah. That's a well, good, good luck. Do you want a subtext in this awkward pose? Um, okay. Okay, I'm trying. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to sneak a look at your boobies. <laughs> Will you stop breathing now? If your breathing is called normal, you know. Yeah, not, not for a robot. Robots don't breathe, so knock it off. So I'm going to do this show and die at the same time? Hey, I do it every night during the monologue. You can do it. All right, all right. We're doing the awkward pose, right? Molly, take us out. Thank you, thank you, all right. Jeff. Listen, welcome back. Listen, when when the guests are, you know, just don't don't interrupt or get all professional with them. It's really showing me up. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, just fine. <laughs> so need to be like a call here. Uh, hold on. <laughs> they want us. Uh, they want us to take this on the road. <laughs> oh, you go first. I'll text you when I'm on my way. <coughs> my uh, next guest is up in three nights, and then. They moved on to a more professional. Larry King actually <laughs> took over. Oh, man, I can yeah. see why. That mohawk is just. Yeah, no, him. he's awesome. He looks bad. Have you, you ever met the. Uh, Larry oh, it's just. We met backstage when I was a human. <laughs> Larry, I didn't know your eyes were so blue, man. So now you ain't got nothing on you. What, yeah. Do I look good? Yeah, yeah, you look, yeah, you look like great. <laughs> Yeah, yes, yeah, Michael. Another yeah, show. go on. Can I bring another civil moment to this show? Yeah, yeah, all right, go ahead. Right, I follow the horse now. Uh, <laughs> are, you, are you surprised, Michael, at all by the success of Boardwalk Empire? Hey, wait, wait. That, knock it off, man. I, 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 I'm sorry. No, I apologize. No, no, Michael, are you surprised by the <laughs> success of Boardwalk? Yeah. Yeah, do you have any uh, do you have any follow up uh, about the South Africa thing there? Can I get a transcript of this? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I want to just add. I think Michael is one of the brilliant forces on television because he impacts the screen. In other words, some people come on and they're there and then they disappear. But Michael, you know, I tell you, you what, me, uh, if what? you're unhappy with me as a robot, <laughs> don't have me back. No. Knowing where you are <laughs> in your pod. <laughs> so, what were you getting up to when you were in South Africa? Oh. Right. <laughs> you are not watching PBS. <laughs> What do you think, man? Did it work? Did you learn anything? <laughs> One, we had great guests. Yeah, yeah. Two, I'm from Brooklyn, too, so I feel so proud when people from Brooklyn make it. Yeah. And he has some talent. Yeah, well, he was a guest. By the way, the show, you, were just you know, we kid you know, Let's stop. What? Let's stop the kidding for a moment. I, I want to say this for the people here, people in the audience, people across the country. You're a great host. You're a terrific personality. You deserve a better time slot. <laughs> No, 
Oh, Are you oh, trying wait. to destroy me, man? Oh, I want to. I want to bring you into more homes. Well, I don't want to be in more homes. Man. You like look, look, no, no. You see, the thing is about you know what we do here is we're tucked no. away quietly. They don't know what we're doing. We got a robot talking like Larry King, and they're like they don't know we're here. In That's other good. Words, if I called up, let's say CBS. New York. Right. And I said, can you give me some information on Craig Ferguson? They They'd be like, they be, we have no idea who that is. Uh, does he work here? Where does he work? They, they yeah, think yeah. When Pull goes, HR. That's what they'd say. Are you trying to say Craig Ferguson? When Letterman goes off, they think the late show is a movie. Yeah, yeah. No, well, I think well, um, there's an infomercial with a British guy. That's what they think it is. <laughs> That's what they think it is. It's like they, it's an infomercial. Well, they should know better. And uh, I, I, I am. And by the way, I'm... <clears throat> Very happy to be a robot if you ever want me back. You know, you should come back and do it again. I, th I really think we were onto something there. Right there when you were asking questions and, like, I, you know, it was amazing. It was like a real TV show. <laughs> anytime you want me to. Yeah, I have more fun here than anywhere. And I'll, anytime you want me back. Well, I, I'll have you back. I'll fit it into my busy schedule. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, anyway? That's, Terrific. Yeah, Everything's you're doing good. That, you're doing that stand-up I'm doing show? comedy. I'm doing... I've been, you know where I've been? Where? I've been to Kazakhstan. I've been to... That's a big comedy town right there. They, uh, 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 they're like that. You do the chuckle hut there in Kazakhstan? <laughs> You've been there? Yeah, the chuckle hut in Kazakhstan. You bet I have. Yeah, I opened for Drew Carey. How about how about Slovakia? You've been to Slovakia? No, no. I've been to Kosovo. Oh, I haven't been to Kosovo. Oh, that's a good Have you been to Kobe. Portugal? Yeah. Korea? No. Are we Korea. just going to do countries? Yes, no. <laughs> Well, are we done? Are we off? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're done. Well, thank your guests tonight. Uh, I'd like to thank my guests. Molly Shadden, Michael K. Williams, and Larry, Larry King is Jeff. we got to go, everybody. Good night. 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 And now, Larry King reads an excerpt from Linda Cunningham's Small Town Girl. Page 85. 84 was terrific. <laughs> He was tearing off his shirt, stepping out of his pants, and suddenly, he was naked on the bed, beside her, all there, all male, M-A-L-E. He's hosting an evening with Larry King and friends. That's a clue to who he is. <laughs> it's supporting his cardiac foundation on Saturday, May the 19th in Washington, D.C. Please welcome my friend Larry King, everybody. Larry King. All right, so I am going to shut my face down again and force some more food into me now that, now that that last bit is over because that last bit always kills me. I am really hoping that I'm going to be able to record this entire thing because we're halfway through and this is about a, as long of a video as I usually make and I don't know at what point it's going to start fighting back against me. <laughs> we'll find out. Great to see you, buddy. May I, make, may I make a statement? Yeah, we sure. Why not? Television has many shows. Television does have many shows. This is the sickest. <laughs> uh, no, no. Have you seen that show? Is what's weirder than this show? <laughs> yeah, let's trace our minds. Weirder than Craig Ferguson. What? Did you ever do acid? <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, man, you were I'm around Jewish. in the sixties. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. Hey, Bob Dylan's Jewish. He probably, I'm sure he did acid. Yeah, but he, Bob Dylan used to be Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> but you can opt out. I don't yeah. know you got that. Yeah, you can. We allow anything. Yeah, no, come on. <laughs> you, you never get in and involved in all that 60s counterculture thing? Did you never get in? Any? No, I was on the air through the 60s in Miami. I covered it all. It was the, easily the most exciting decade as a broadcaster. Really? Oh, the 60s. Well, there's a lot going on, I guess, yeah. I try and not pay attention to current events. <laughs> I go back to my original. <laughs> <laughs> Were you in Miami uh, when uh, uh, Castro go Cuba? I was on the morning. I was on the radio that morning and announced that 
Fidel Castro has entered Havana. Wow. Then Fulgencio Batista has set, sought exile in Spain with all his money. Do you remember all this? Are you? Yeah. Are you no, I was here. I was. <laughs> no, I, it's current events. No, that's not was, current now. Was on the air. Yeah. It's current then. Right. Fair I, enough. I was on the air and I announced that he'd come in. And I interviewed many of the first Cubans that came to live in Miami. Wow. But speaking of evil dictators, yes. have you seen my clips with the dictator? No. Oh, hysterical stuff. <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen. Was You're in that movie? I'm not, I did all the, I did commercials for it. All right. I did e stuff that they sent out to, you know, on, uh, on the internet. You know. Oh, oh, that thing, the internet, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know they've got that in the Czech Republic now, that internet? I was That's just how in the Czech Republic. No way! I was in Slovakia. Slovakia. Right. That's the last words of Czechoslovakia. Yeah, I understand that, but it's not Czechoslovakia anymore. No, but it's this it's, it's part of the Czech Republic. It's part of it's right there on the Blue Danube. You know when you go to Slovakia, you know where you land? <laughs> where? <laughs> Vienna. Oh yeah, I've been to Vienna. I saw the most amazing porn in Vienna. <laughs> in the hotels in Vienna. No, this is true. In the hotels in Vienna, the porn is not you don't pay for it. It's, it's live. Just, it's, it's, it's live. It's live. <laughs> they come you, into your room. You can. <laughs> yeah, you pay extra for that. No. <laughs> you just like you flip through the channels because all what I always did when I went to a foreign country is yes, it's true. Is I would always I'd find CNN and find you. That's why I would always do. I like that's when you you get it's a little kind of bridge to home. You get CNN. You find Larry and then th then I take Life my pants cool. off and use a moisturizer. <laughs> but. <laughs> I'm so no. proud of my audience. No, no. <laughs> but, and so, but in uh, in Vienna, in the hotel I was in, you flick through the chat, and the porn was right there. Like, <laughs> hardcore porn. Like, it would go, you know, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, uh, Larry King, porn. <laughs> <laughs> and what did you stay with? <laughs> went back to you. <laughs> By the way, did you just go, huh? <laughs> Man, I'm yeah, being I judged. My Heart Foundation thing. Oh, yeah, the Heart Foundation. By the way, thing, yeah. I, would, I wish you would have appeared at one. You know, we had so many great people appear. Sarah Evans, the great music uh, yeah. country singers. Well, you, can't, you can't have me appear, Larry, unless you ask me. <laughs> They've never asked you? Never asked me. Well, my wife is chairman of the board. Right. My son is president. Oh. Of the United States? <laughs> See, that's a story right there, because there's that whole Hawaii, Kenya thing going on. You can stop that right now. You go, actually, that's my boy. I, you know what I like about you, Craig? The way you stay focused. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you, you stay right on target. All you, right, you know? tell me about the Heart Foundation. No, so we have, what we do as a Heart Foundation is we help people who can't afford it. Right. Get heart procedures of all kinds. We've been doing it for, since I had my heart attack, since 1987. Wow. And because I, I had heart surgery, it's a funny story. I had heart surgery. No, it doesn't sound funny, but it is funny. You want to hear a story? Quick. Sure, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started this foundation, and yeah. my wife runs it beautifully, and my son. And so we do this event every year, and we have stars. And, and you can, if you go to LK, yeah, is this a story? No. Right, yeah. Foundation.org. <laughs> right. It's next Saturday night. And right. Night. Here's the story I had a heart attack, I need heart surgery. Right. I go to New York because I was very pessimistic, and I had the heart attack in Washington, but I want to die in New York. Fair enough. I grew up in New York. Uh, I'm not going to live. So, I go to New York Hospital, right. beautiful hospital. I'm there. I walk in. I'm scared to death. Of course. Heart surgery, right? Yes. Now, next day, I meet my surgeon. You don't meet your surgeon until you're having the heart surgery. Right. He walks in. He's got a doctor. He's got a 10-gallon hat. <laughs> cowboy boots yeah. and across the room he goes you're going to do right fine you're going to do right fine I looked at the film and we're going to do a quintuple bypass on you five veins on you whoa you know, I discovered then that all heart surgeons are, are right from Texas Jewish or from Texas really yeah. is that true there, there is no heart surgeon from North Dakota <laughs> they don't, they don't anyway I'm sure we'll hear from one he, uh, he comes over this is the truth right and they do things all doctors do, right? Why do they do this? Do they, they learn that and do doctors? that one? Did they do that one? Oh, the two fingers. You, you got to pay extra for that. <laughs> that's, 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 that's like in Vienna, in the yeah. hotel, yeah. No, that's probably an exam you enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> Goes like this, I swear to God. I look down, he has no right thumb. 
What? Yeah. He's a surgeon. <laughs> Aha. You're going to have a thumb. It's Dr. Wayne Isom who performed surgery on David. David Letterman, Letterman uh -huh. uh, Regis Philbin. Heard of him? Uh, a lot of fame. Yeah. 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 Did Does he only do famous art <laughs> surgery? <laughs> it's like, well, no, no, let me see. Uh, i right. got to talk to your agent. What, what did you make last year? I look down, mm -hmm. and you see a man with, what do you say? When you see a man with no thumb? Yeah, and he's, he's going to do your surgery. Yeah. Here's what I said. What? This is, this is semi-brilliant. <laughs> I said, you know, Doc, ever since I grew up, I can't explain this. When I meet somebody new, for some reason, I count their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> and with you, I get the nine. <laughs> and what happened was he, they had an accident when he was a kid. And his his mother was doing the leaves, whatever they do. You know, doing the leaves? Yeah. Doing the leaves. <laughs> with the finger. Leaves. <laughs> and chopped off. Did you ever do the leaves in the 60s, there, Larry? <laughs> you know, I'm just doing the leaves. <laughs> I and I doing the leaves. Anyway, she chopped off his thumb. Oh, my Lord, is yeah. that mother? And it made him ambidextrous as a surgeon. Oh, I see. I went to sleep that night and dreamed that he cut his other thumb. <laughs> <laughs> did he really? Yeah. But and how did it go? Did you lift? <laughs> You're so focused. <laughs> we got to take a break. We'll be right back, Larry. <laughs> What's that? Keep Welcome the... back, everybody. Hang on. I, I'm doing the thing. Welcome back. Right, what? <laughs> I asked when you new, move into your new studio, are you going to keep this wonderful intimacy? That this? No, no. I want to get further away from the audience. <laughs> uh, yeah, we, I mean, the new studio, we're moving to a new studio. and, and when, But the new studio, is it's still crap. <laughs> it's not like we're moving to a great studio. It's another studio that's crap. Why? Do you... <laughs> Why? And if I may ask a question. Sure. We well, switched seats here once, remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah. Why do you knock your own employer? Would <laughs> <laughs> you like to do this again, huh? A little bit. <laughs> Here's the thing. Why? Well, you ask an insightful question. Um, <laughs> Make a living doing that. Well, that's what I'm What I'm saying is this. is like when someone is in a position of power over me, my employer, the president of the United States, you, my wife... <laughs> It's four. Okay. Four. Four. It's like I'm a surgeon. Yeah. <laughs> when good, someone... Good. Did, I was kidding. Yeah, see, yeah, still got it. Yeah. So, okay, so when I'm in a, in a position of subservience to anyone else, when someone has power over me, I immediately consider them kind of a hostile force. I am, by trade, a comedian. So if you have power, it is my job right you up. So C <laughs> CBS, therefore, right, is your enemy. In a way. What do you do with your paycheck? Cash it. <laughs> we gotta uh, we gotta finish up. So what do you want? Uh well, we get a choice, right? Yeah, yeah, you want the I want, I want your love and compassion. Oh you got that, we're really. understand. Yeah, yeah, you know you... I got I'm not swear I'll come right out of there. I want you I want you next year to do our foundation gala. I, I, I'm, I'm unfortunately out of time, but I'd love to. Too. Out of town is where it is. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say what okay. town I was out. <laughs> what do I choose here? All right. Well, you got the awkward pause. Uh, you got the mouth organ. Uh, or you can go for the big cash prize. I'll go for the cash. <laughs> what time is the show? It's time for the big <laughs> Pause for a second and let y'all uh, know. Um, I I had to take my medicine with my food, and so if I get a little drowsy, it, it, it it'll it'll pass. It's um, my medicine used to put me to sleep. Now it just kind of zonks me for a couple of minutes, and then I override it. <laughs> Cash prizes are hurting you. Yeah. <laughs> $50 in quarters. So you put this in the cup holder in your car. Meters. Exactly. Or peep shows. <laughs> well, you'd have to go back in time about 50 years. But peep shows. Or go to, go to Czechoslovakia. <laughs> oh, really? Vienna. Oh, really? Vienna. Vienna? Oh, 
Oh yeah, the free porn. Yeah, you wouldn't yeah, even okay. need this. Uh, what do uh, I have to do? Well, I'm just going to tell you. Oh. Right? All right, all right. Leave a gap, and I'll throw some words into it, and that's how we do it. All right. You can either uh, answer a question or you can guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I've got a box in my head, I imagine. I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in it. You try and guess what's in the box. If you're right, Jeff will tell you you win the money. If you're wrong, something awful will happen to you. So I have to guess what's in your mind at this moment. In the box in my mind. Or answer a question. That's not the challenge. All right, I'll choose the box. Oh, okay. I've heard that. <laughs> A uh, baby octopus. Wait, 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 wait! Wait! Wait, you guys let it do. Well, I, I, first of all, I gotta get the box in my head. Okay. All right. Well, Hang I on. put it there already. I should. No, 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 no. I, I put the. I, I now want I your change. box. Okay. I want my box. Now it just changed. All right. Were you going to say a baby up? Yes. Oh, now why were you going to say that? I don't know. Well, are you trying to tell me you never took acid? <laughs> no, but maybe it's addictive. <laughs> it is. Uh, <laughs> CBS cares. Uh, all right, I've imagined the box in my head. I don't know what's in it. Jeff, do you have the box? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> all right, Larry, what is in my box? A baby rhino. <laughs> I don't know, Jeff, uh, what's, uh, what's in the box? Well, we would have accepted Spongebob Larry King porn. <laughs> but it is a baby rider. Baby rider! Larry King! Larry King! Hey! Hey, Plunky. That's the girl He's from Lego, right? Larry King! I like to those movies that go like, like, there are three of them in That's a real picture of a real fire. The last time I was on this show, you had a, well, I had a guess what was hidden in your box. Yes. And I guessed the baby rhino. <laughs> you put it on the wall. That's not a baby rhino, and it's not a rhino. I don't want people to get upset. I, I said, no, it's not a real rhino. It's it's not. We didn't hurt what a rhino. Is it? It's made of kittens. You know, I want to tell you something. What? Eric. What? You can make it a beautiful studio and a beautiful set and a wonderful surrounding. Are you going to break into a song? Because it no. sounds like you're going to break into a song. You know, let me tell you no. something. Uh, it goes a little something like this. This is still okay. the sickest show on television. Oh, yes. Yeah, I like, I like no, the sickest show.